Okay, pear sauce today. I picked up 20 pounds of pears from the Azure Standard Order. I was supposed to get this order a week before Thanksgiving instead of three days before Thanksgiving, but the order was delayed because they had a lot of orders come in and that's okay, we got it done. So this is 20 pounds of Barlet pears. They're fa absolutely fantastic. They did come a little brown, but that's because the truck that they were in was refrigerated. It's not because they were bad. So if you put pears in the refrigerator, they do get, the skin does get a little brown. But as I'm peeling them and chopping them, they're still firm. They're very juicy, very sweet, still in good condition. So all of the excess skin and the cores are going to be going in this bowl. And the chickens will get those. And then the slices are going to go in the pot. And I will be cooking those on low on top of the stove all day long. And these pears were so sweet that I actually do not add any sugar to this recipe. So this is a very full pot and that's okay. They cook down quite a bit. So it's okay to have it overflowing a little bit. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. The water is going to go down to the pot and keep the pears from sticking to the bottom while they cook all day long. I did add what I had left in my small jar of the cinnamon. I will be refilling this jar and I do add a little bit more of that to the sauce before I can it because it didn't, when I tasted it, it needed a little bit more. But um, I mean, other than that, everything else is perfect. And so this is the whole nutmeg. I stopped using the store-bought ground nutmeg about a year ago now. And so I only use the whole nutmeg and I, I use a zester and I grate it myself. And I, I, can't, I can't go back to the store-bought one because the flavor of this is, is so much stronger and it, I mean, it's just, you just, you have to use it. You just have to try it because <laughs> it's hard to describe. It's just, it's way better. It's kind of like fresh ground pepper and like pre-ground pepper. Like it's just weaker, you know? Anyways, so this cooks on the stove all day on low. I do add a little bit more water because I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to stick. And then I put the lid on, well, I, I lowered this to the low temperature. And then I put the lid on, you gotta smush it on there because it is pretty full, but it cooks down very quick. So the lid's not gonna be propped up very long. So I do get all my bulk spices. If it's not growing in the garden for me to use, I do order it from Azure Standard. The flavor and smell of their spices is so much stronger than when you buy them at the grocery store. So I do like to get it from them. Um, if, if, again, if I'm not growing it. So that was my cinnamon. I did refill my cinnamon jar. Um, this is clove. I don't use clove very often, but since I'm refilling it anyways, you know, here we go. I won't have to do it for a while. And these smaller jars that I'm putting my bulk spices into are actually jars that I got when I was buying the spices at the grocery store. And these are the little glass jars. And so I just reuse them and I keep the smaller jars in the cabinet next to my stove and then the larger jars stay up higher where I don't have to get to them very often. So here I'm taking the, the um, nutmeg pieces out that I have used already because I'm going to refill this jar and I don't want them to go to the bottom. I want to use those first. So it does take a long time to go through nutmeg and so I really didn't need to refill it but now I won't, I probably won't refill it for another year. So since I have the pear sauce on the stove, and I actually do have some candy pecans in the oven, we're going to do some schoolwork. So we use the good and the beautiful. I did have Wyatt on a Becca, but he got bored with that and was wanting to use Leland's. So now I have him doing good and beautiful as well. He's doing preschool, and Leland is doing kindergarten. So the spelling and grammar, they had their own books, and then math and science we can do together. Um, cause I mean the science, it's not like strictly for their age, but, um, it's, you know, we'll talk about butterflies and bees or something. And then of course they help me in the yard. So that's their science right now. So here is, is my second round of the candy pecans. Cause I'm taking these to Thanksgiving and they're a snack that everybody, I didn't come home with any. <laughs> so for the recipe in a bowl, I put one cup of sugar, which I used half brown sugar and half soup in it because I like the extra molasses flavor, but you can use all brown sugar or all regular sugar. And then I did one tablespoon of cinnamon, 
two teaspoons of vanilla. That will be two teaspoons if you use vanilla extract and one teaspoon if you use vanilla bean powder. One whole egg, half teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of water. I mix all that up in the bowl and then I add the one pound of pecans, or you can use almonds. I coat those really well and I bake them at 250 degrees Fahrenheit in the oven for 45 minutes. And you want to make sure you stir those really well and um, so everything dries out and bakes evenly. So then I mash up the pear sauce. This is the next day. But the night before, I did mash it up, get all the big chunky pieces out. It is going to be a chunkier sauce, but I got the big pieces out. And then I let it cool and I stuck it in the fridge because it had gotten way too late and I was exhausted. So this next morning here, I warmed it up on the stove and I got them all jarred up. And I'm going to get them canned so they can be done. And they will just sit on the counter until we get back home from our trip. <laughs> 